Hi, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. This is Lalit Vasist. Today we will see what is multiplexing and we will also discuss here two types of multiplexing known as time division multiplexing TDM and the frequency division multiplexing known as FDM in short. So let's first see what is multiplexing. Actually multiplexing is a technique in which uh, several message signals are combined into a composite signal okay so that these can be transmitted over a common channel so whenever we want to transmit a number of signals or you can say when many users want to send the, their signals on a common channel then we can combine these signals into one composite signal and you use multiplexing to avoid interference while transmitting them simultaneously okay so to transmit the various signals over the same channel it is essential to keep them apart so that they don't interfere with each other and can be separated easily at the receiving end so we use multiplexing two types of multiplexing are there time division and frequency division multiplexing uh, there are uh, benefits and uh, drawbacks of each of these uh, technique so we will discuss both of these techniques how can we use the multiplexing to transmit uh, many signals in the form of composite signal over a common channel okay so let's see first of all we will see the frequency division multiplexing we will understand this uh, FDM with the help of an interesting example suppose uh, we have four users and they want to transmit their signals over a common channel okay so these are the four users user 1 user 2 user 3 and user four these are indicated by different colors here it is this blue color is user one and this okay this is user two in brown third user and the red is in fourth the red is the fourth user so they wanted to transmit their signals at the same time so we will use here the technique of fdm what we will do in fdm the all users use the same common channel at the same time or for full time so let's see here if you see the user number one is here this from here to here here this is the frequency range the frequency bandwidth available to us and this frequency bandwidth is divided among these uh, four users as you can see from here to here this band is allocated to the user four user three and this one to the user two and from here to here we have allotted this bandwidth to the user number one so the division is in the bandwidth each user has its own bandwidth to use and also see one thing that uh, they are allowed to transmit their signals for full time if this is the, if this is the time axis and you can see that user from here to here this all duration of time user all the users are transmitting their signals okay but they are allowed to only use their bands bandwidths available to transmit their signals so you can say that in FDM all users use the same common channel at the same time okay for full time as you can see here they are using the four users are using it for the full duration of time but they are allotted different frequencies to prevent any kind of signal interference okay we have discussed it they have their own bandwidths to uh, transmit their signals at the same time for full time so the bandwidth is divided among users not time only the bandwidth is divided time is given the full time access is given to each user uh, but there is a possibility of crosstalk in FDM because in frequency division multiplexing all the users transmit the signals at the same time so there is possibility of crosstalk but this is not uh, the case with the time division multiplexing as in case of time division multiplexing the users are allotted their only uh, time slots in which they are allowed to transmit their signals but they are given the full bandwidth for their time slot after discussing FDM we will now discuss the time division multiplexing here again we will take the same example so that uh, the concept uh, becomes clear uh, of four users here we have these four users and they want to transmit their signal simultaneously over the common channel so how can we use time division multiplexing so that uh, 
uh, there is no interference and each user can transmit their signal over the common channel so let's see here here these are the four users this is indicated here user 1 2 3 and user number 4 here you can see as in uh, fre uh, as in this uh, time division multiplexing since this is the frequency bandwidth available from here to here and user 1 and user 2 user 3 and user 4 all the users are allotted this full bandwidth in frequency division multiplexing in previous case this was not the case uh, they were allotted only uh, certain bandwidths for their use but here the division is in terms of time as you can see user 1 if you see the case of user 1 this user 1 is getting full bandwidth from here to here okay you can see but this user is allowed to use the channel for this duration of time from here to here and then the time slot of the user 2 starts and then the user 2 uses the full bandwidth from here to here the all available bandwidth for its slot of time and then the time slot of uh, user 3 starts it uses it fully full bandwidth and the same case with the fourth user so they each user is using the full bandwidth for its own time slot so the division in time division multiplexing the complete channel bandwidth as you can see here the in time division multiplexing the complete channel bandwidth is allotted to one user to each user for a fixed time slot okay it means that each user can use the full bandwidth available but for a fixed time this is his own time this is his or her own time slot where uh, it can use it so the division is in time not in bandwidth but in frequency division multiplexing the division was in case of uh, frequencies not in time they were allowed to uh, transmit their signals for full time duration but here they are allowed to use only their allotted time slots and they can use the full bandwidth available okay so the crosstalk problem is not uh, seen in uh, time division multiplexing because at one time slot in one time slot only one user is transmitting his signal so there is no possibility of crosstalk in this case so this was all about a frequency division multiplexing fdm and time division multiplexing tdm in the next videos we will see more topics so keep watching engineering made easy thank you for watching friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it see you soon in the next video till then bye bye